what's going on YouTube? Urban Legend here and today we're going to embark on an epic adventure towards the top and by that I mean we are gunning for the Premier League and we are going to do that with Wiccan Wanderers. Now Wiccan will currently play in uh, Skybet League 2 and we are predicted with this team to finish pretty much towards the bottom. They're a decent club, um, they've got pretty much the facilities there we we'll, we won't really need any uh, expansion in terms of our stadium right away. We've got impressive training facilities, which is good. We you know our players can you know they can train, they can get better, they can improve. So that's good. You know they've probably got like, average uh, youth facilities, but we won't need them right away. However, you know I, it's very rare I do try these. It, I've only ever really emulated. A success on terms of going from bo top to or well, bottom from, from bottom to top, should I say? Um, a couple of times it's very hard. Either I get bored, or I just yeah, I, just, I usually do get bored. It's just one of those. But you know, we we doing it. So hope you enjoy it. So yeah, let's go through the usual stuff. Uh, personal message, yes. Um, new subscription. Right, what I'll do is I will pause it now and then we'll go straight into the tactics and we'll start choosing our style of play. So I'll see you soon. Welcome, guys. So here we are. Let's build our tactic that will see us rise to the top. Now, I'm not sure how I do this because you know, when you go with a team, let's say Manchester United or Chelsea, you've got attacking players, you, can, you know, you can build a tactic. That will be very attacking, creative. But a team like this, we have to think about, you know, safeguarding ourselves at the back during performances. Now I'm thinking we'll go with a just a steady, you know, sort of four four two formation, nothing fancy, very boring. Um, and then we can sort of see how it sort of pans up, pans out with the uh, friendlies. So let's just be safe. So, shall we have attacking wingers or just normal wide midfielders? Um, right, we have to have some form of like a attacking style of play in this. It can't all be too laid back and subtle. We'll stick with uh, two forwards. I'm not sure. I'm doing, yeah, I might just keep it how it is. Wingers, again, one support, one attack. I think we'll just have them both as support because you know one of the main questions is you know, people tend to ask about this game is does it make a huge difference with its attack or support? It, it doesn't. It doesn't. And what I mean by that is, you know, support and wingers will still attack. They they will track back a lot more than what attacking wingers will. You know, attacking wingers you tend to stay up more, so they they'll attack more often. But will fall back a lot less, whereas supporting wingers will still attack, but are more tend to drop back a lot more in defensive phases. Um, again, you know, it's not not much of a massive issue. I did a uh, United tactic and had two attacking wingers, and didn't always play well in attacking mode. You know, I tend to shift them up from support and attack. And they sometimes the majority of the time it's about fifty fifty, they play just as well in that supporting role of doing the attack. So we'll keep them both for support for now. Midfielders I have one defensive midfielder. I may change that to a ball winning midfielder. But we need someone who's capable of that uh, role. So for now we'll just go with you know, our central midfielder defend and again central midfielder. I think we'll have a deep line playmaker for this, or an advanced playmaker. Um, all right, we'll go. We'll go with an advanced playmaker, and again support or overly commit players at the moment. In fact, now you know what we'll have him as attack. We'll see how that goes. You know, we can adjust plays as it goes on. And defence again, you know, it's quite a flat back four there. Full back or wing back support. 
we've got supporting attacking midfielders. I do quite like playing supporting wing backs. Uh, I enjoy the, the get involved in the play and support. So we'll try that for now. Uh, we may just adjust it back to a standard um, back forge flat. We'll see how that goes. Got a bit of shape to it. And we'll go into my mentality. Keep it a standard. So we don't know how well this tactic will work. Flexible. Um, yeah, we'll have it as flexible. Any instructions. So we want to try and retain possession. Sort of pass. Yeah, sort of. Shorter passing. Um, let's have a look down here. Uh, run at defence. We'll try and get. Uh, especially wingers anyway, capable of running at players. We want to exploit the flanks because that's where we're looking to uh, attack through. Our we should, I'm hoping to find decent wingers. I've not really checked what the squad's like at the moment. And let's have a look. I don't want too many instructions. I want to prevent short goalkeeper distribution. Close down more, stop them playing. Lower the tempo, we don't want them playing too fast, rushing things, we don't need them to do that. And I think that'll be at the moment. You may want to change these two. Now, be more disciplined, I don't want them moving around too much. And, you know, it aims to not allow players to sort of roam from positions as well as more expressive. They'll be able to create themselves. They have the freedom to do what they want. Uh, the freedom to dictate how they, they feel the game's going. So I think we'll... I'm not too sure about these yet. We'll try more disciplined at the moment. Trying to make them run from positions. So I think that'll do really. Whip crosses, float crosses. Whip crosses I quite enjoy. I tend to score more goals from whip crosses. I think we've got currently... Six, eight instructions. So I think we'll, yeah, we'll carry on with eight at the moment. We'll try and add a few more as the time goes on. We'll change some, see how it goes. But again, it's basically it. You know, four four two, uh, four two four wide. Still, I still class it as a four four two. It's just the the wingers are just higher up the pitch. May change these around a little bit. I don't know. We'll, again, we'll just see how it goes during our pre-season. And I can just adjust accordingly until we get the tactics sort of spot on. So, what are we aiming for in the first season with this team? Now, I'm, I want to at least get that playoff position. That is the bare minimum, what I'm aiming for. I don't like aiming for... Let's settle for mid-table. No, we've got to go for that playoff position straight away. Or higher. So, that's what we're aiming for. Let's have a quickly look at our team. Quite a small team. We got a few decent players here, actually. Ability potential. Right, I know. Let's uh, click position. All right, goalkeeper. Decent. Um, what we're lacking here? Probably another good defender centre. Although you know he's decent. Uh, wing back left. Got a good one. Midfield seems to be our area that's lacking the most. So we're our centre. Right, we've got three centre mids. Yeah, we've got one with the potential to be four and a half. Run about four or five. But again, we want someone who's quality straight away. So we'll look for our mid, mid centre who's capable of getting forward as a playmaker. So we need an advanced playmaker from the midfield. Could do with a defending mid as well, someone who's capable of winning the ball back. We've got Josh Scowin, but he seems to be good in any sort of position there. So he seems to be quite accomplished. He's a natural midfielder, centre, and he's a attacking midfielder. So again, I want someone who's preferred as a defending mid, well, not a defending midfielder, but who's capable of defending and getting winning that ball back. Look. Uh, so he's actually a ball winning midfielder. Defend, no marking, it's pretty poor really, tackling. Aggression is good. 
Again, strength. Strength is key in this role. And this one is strong, physical. Two, they work hand in hand. Strength and tackling works coincide with each other. So again, you know, probably not good enough for that role. But we'll see anyway. Attacking wise, we seem to be pretty decent to the attacking. Maybe not because he is absolute garbage. Right, we'll bring in a striker because this seems to be slow. Yeah, we'll definitely bring in a striker. So guys, that is what we're aiming for. We're gonna look to get three or four new players, probably possibly even five. We need to get a lot more players and the depth of this squad is pretty poor anyway. But again, you know this team a lot of players will be good in the conference, but that's poor in this league as they just show. I mean it's saying that he's four stars and it's, to me he looks pretty poor. Acceleration, you know, finishing's only ten, so we'll look to get him the correct players and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pause it now. I'm gonna go ahead, try and get these players and then we'll see at the end of the transfer window what we've got. And also at the end of the transfer window we'll sort of have a look to see how our pre season's gone. So I'll see you soon. Welcome back guys and so we are pretty much towards the beginning of the new season and well these are a few transfers I have made. As you can tell I don't have no money whatsoever. So these are the transfers at the moment. So we've got Manny O'Sullivan, who is a right winger from West Brom on a loan. Jimmy Phillips, who's a left attacking winger on loan from Burton. Ross Jenkins, now, oh, both of these, Ross Jenkins and uh, Michael Hoganson, both were for the trialists that you usually get invited to at the beginning of the season. These are usually the players that have been released the season before. A lot of them are pretty garbage, but sometimes you get the odd one or two, uh, you know, the gems. And these two were the gems. Now, if you click on just Ross Jenkins for now, um, you know, decent stats for someone who's on free, especially someone who's in the lower league. He's a midfielder, and he's, a, you know, he's quite defensive. So, hopefully he can fit into my, you know, ball-winning midfield role, which is probably one of his best roles here. He can also play an advanced playmaker, which isn't too bad. Because, I, I, you know, you can switch him about. So, we'll see what his best position is. Whether it's an uh, advanced playmaker or a ball -win winning midfielder. We'll see, obviously, towards the beginning of the season. Which is just around the corner. Well, it's today, actually. So, we'll be watching that match. And I'll just click on Michael Hoganson. Again, you know, he, he doesn't look too great on his stats at the moment. But he has the potential to become great. He's wanted by Bristol Rovers. who we were in the same division on loan. So, he's... You know, it's not too bad. He won't fit to my team straight away because I've got quite well, one of the best players is a uh, left defender, so he won't fit him right away. But he can be a backup. Um, Tom Lockyer, again, defender centre. I need someone who's young but also pretty decent at centre back. And now he'll probably fit straight into my team. He's probably one of the best ones at the moment in terms of defence. He's got quite decent stats. And he's on loan from the Rovers. And Benjamin Beckles. Now, I just got one of three. It was offered to me. I am lacking that right defender role. He's only 18. He has the potential to come four stars, maybe higher. Um, shitty stats and all that, but who knows? He's not going to go into my team straight away. I've got players better than him, but you might as well. So that's currently my players at the moment. I try. You want to see the list of the amount of players I try to get. All the best free players you can think of. I tried. None of them were interested. I don't know why. Yet they moved to the next team next to me in the same league. So we don't know. So I'll just quick, uh, quickly show you the schedule that we had. So first of all, we play Sheffield Wednesday at home. One-one draw. You know we play very well actually against the position, not the high opposition. Um. Went away to Weymouth again. We won. We're scoring goals. However, we are conceding goals. Um, by the time we got to North Ferriby, we ended up with I think five players that were injured, and it had to be all five. Pretty much five of mine were my attacking players. So the two players I got for the right wing, both injured on loan. Uh, the one that I got from. Uh, Burton for the left, 
he ended up injured. So by the time we got around to North Ferriby, I had so many injuries, it's ridiculous. But again, shipping that many goals against a team that are in the low division, that's quite concerning. I'm hoping it's just, you know, friendly. It's it's not it don't it's hard to say how the season will go just off friendlies, but again, our first game, Newport County away. This could be quite a difficult difficult game. So let's go ahead and select our team. Uh, let's go to him again. Carlisle beat Luton 5 1, that's ridiculous. Right. They're going to go for a 2 3 f 2 3 formation. Well, you know, 5 at the back of your card. 5 3 2. 2 full backs, or wing backs, you say. Um, team selection. Now, support, wing back support. Right, we'll keep that at the moment. Central midfielder. I think we'll change into ball win midfielder. I don't know at the moment. Should we change to ball win? Advanced player maker. I'll right, we'll change deep line support. Could I defend? I don't know. I don't know what, what, I commit too many players, especially when we're playing away. And we'll keep that at the moment. Uh, we'll click on quick bit. Alright, this is how my assistant manager will select the team so Matt McClaw at top defensive forward poacher advanced forward and he's also picked Paul Hayes Paul Hayes is too bad actually his stats are quite decent oh, nice. so he plays a deep line forward advanced forward let's look at Stephen Craig no, he's looking pretty poor Alfie Mawson, Matt Blainfield. Right, have we got any um, any players making a debut today? All right, Jimmy Phillips is making a debut. You know, I don't, we'll, I don't always go play. We'll see how he gets on. Ross Jenkins. I may want to put him straight in the squad. Let's have a look at Schoen. Um, let's have a look at Kretschmar, what his name is. I might swap him out actually. Right, I'll swap him out with Jenkins. Yeah, we'll do that. Deep long time maker. Will you play better as a deep long time maker? Alright, we'll keep it as a deep line playmaker for now. Uh, Cohen Hall. He's de no, decreasing stats. Uh, Aaron Pierre, Lockyer, straight in the squad. Jambati. Yeah, Alright, so that is the team I will be playing with. Hopefully, now by the looks of it, their fixtures. I think they've been on a, a bit of a winning streak here. Alright, they beat Arsenal. Under 21s, all one. All right. all right. You know what? Let's go straight into this. My main training focus was teamwork. Hopefully, being away from home, they'll stick. They'll, they'll work together. I don't want a team that will, you know, play as individuals. Again, I'm not too sure how my team will fare in terms of attacking and defending. It's just a case of. We'll see. So they're currently, yeah, they're going to line up as a 5-3-2 uh, formation. Hopefully I can exploit the wingers because they've only got the full backs. Hopefully with my wingers being pushed up quite high, I can exploit them with my supporting wing backs. So we'll see. So this is currently the um, formation uh, instructions for the opposition team. Um, I've put it on set instructions which I don't want to um, calm down always always tight marking you, I don't want to tight mark players especially 
I don't know about midfielders. That's when they start exploiting you, especially when you've got two midfielders. So I don't want to do that. So let's click off that. Right, so I want to close down the two wing backs, obviously, because that's where obviously their main attacking is going to come from in terms of wingers. They may want to look to exploit down the middle. I don't know yet, but Dawson and Klukowski that's obviously going to be uh, two best players. Let's have a look, see which one's going to be a playmaker. Uh, which one's the best out of both? Dawson. Alright, so I like it, it's going to be Klukowski. So I think I'll type Mark Klukowski. Always close him down and tackle him very hard. I'll close down uh, Dawson. And let's. Close down him and tackle hard. No, it's not tackling hard because he's a tackle. No, oh, he's closing down. Uh, show them onto a weaker foot. Again, we'll show them onto a weaker foot. We'll see how that fares. I don't know at the moment. We'll see. Um, I think we should try and encourage your team. Let's encourage him. And I'll say there's a lot more to come to from his. Try and encourage him a little bit. Alright, let's. Just one minute before we click on this. During highlights, I'm going to speed up a little bit. Between highlights, a little bit more. Now we can do that. Yeah, we can do that. Um, extended. Key. I don't have anything key. We don't want to extend it. Sounds, no. Um. Okay, let's do that. So hopefully we can. You know, I want a solid performance here. I don't want to get absolutely battered. I want to build on a solid performance. We should try and encourage more direct passing and play. No, we don't want to. Good ball. Go on claw. It's it, lad. Oof, unlucky. I don't want to. Obviously. My assistant manager suggesting we do a direct style play. I don't want to do that. Go on, lad. But, oh, what was that? Yeah, I don't want to do direct style passing. That will suggest we're you know, a bit more attacking. We don't want to. Be. We're winning fair shares. Get more across into the box. So it's going quite well at the moment. We're doing decent plays. Oh, it's dirt ball. Why is that? Come on. We'll start putting away these opportunities, especially when playing at home, or away from home, should I say. Oh, we we'll just keep the ball. Um, we do, uh, no, we, it's looking alright actually. The way the players are positioned, I'm just hoping. Oh, there we go. That's one. Keep them doing that all day. They can keep kicking that ball up. What a ball! Beautiful. Get in! Absolutely wonderful ball there. From, I don't know who that was from. Absolutely beautiful ball. From Jombati. Look at that. Pick that one out the back of the net. Excellent. So we are looking quite structured, very well. We're not moving from positions too much, which is good. I want to try and keep the sort of attacking style of play for when we're playing at home. You know, there's a lot of confidence. How can you win for improvement? I think we're doing very well. I think we're doing excellent. <coughs> I'm pleased. I'm actually very pleased. You know, I'm playing well. I don't know what he's talking about. Away from home, 1 0 up. Overview. You know, playing miles better than Newport County. What he's talked about. Let's click on the pitch again. So this is where the the uh, the real effort starts coming now. Trying to keep the level of football we've been playing up. So we're getting quite a bit of space around this uh, box around here. This is a good thing. No, come on. Let's keep keeping the ball for too long. A bit more movement. Hey, he's got the ball. No. Come on, be solid. Let's not give too much away. No, it's a gap. 
Excellent defending. Beautiful. Oh, keep the ball. Why are they doing that? That was an absolute terrible goal to give away. That was really, really poor. I'm angry with that. Why? I'm sure he's offside. I'm not sure of it. But we shouldn't be allowing players. Uh, we've got another injury. Jenkins injured again. Uh, Peter Murphy. Look at Stuart Lewis. Right, Stuart Lewis can go on. Um, so, Krishna, no, I can stay there. Right, it's currently. Um, individual team talk. A bit of calm. I want to see a good performance from you today. Seems deep in thought. Mm, not too bad. I need to. I think I have to bring Scowin off soon. Um, yeah, let's have a look. Uh, Sam Wood. Garbage as well. This is uh, didn't help with having quite a lot of players injured. So I think we would change McClaw. How can you be a defender and a striker? It's at opposite ends of the uh, football and scale. That. Right, we'll put Steve Craig on McClaw. And I think we'll go and put Kretschmer on for Scowen. Yeah, we'll do that. See how that fares up. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw, I think. Yeah, it's going to be over. Is it? Don't score last minute goal. What a save. Fantastic keeping there. How he managed to miss that, I don't know, but that was pretty cool. Heart was in my mouth then. Come on, let's keep the ball. Oh. I've got it in short passing. I don't understand why they're trying to do loads of long balls. I know we scored from a long ball. The first goal, but I've got retained possession and short passing, and they don't seem to do that at the moment. That's what I mean about trying to keep that performance up in the second half as we did in the first. We played excellent in the first half. Second half was pretty poor. Um, Alright, you know what? I'm happy. You know, I saw some positives. First game of the season. Ciro John Batty played excellent. You know, debut performance from Wokia did okay. Although that goal was terrible to concede. I may want to put my keeper on. As a sweeper, if any balls that come over the top, I don't know yet. Maybe. Depends how good our keeper is. Paul Hayes, you know, decent game. Apart from that, not many to performance. I mean Rush Jenkins, you know, decent first game of the season, no debut game anyway. So let's click on post match. But you know, I'm happy with a one one draw. Let's look at the overview. Yeah, we Second half, we, had, we only had two shots second half, so New, Newport brought their game second half. But I'm happy with that. That's definitely positives there. And I think that's going to be it, guys. So we've Bournemouth next game. That is in the cup. So we've got to try and get as far as we can in the cup in terms of we need a lot of cash coming in. We've got zero in the kitty. We need more kitty. I need more money. So thanks for watching guys. I've been Urban Legend. And thanks for tuning in for our Wickham campaign.